Hey guys, and welcome back to iCraft MC. This is another video in iCraft's world. Uh, in the last video, we uh, started, uh, we finished the roof actually, and uh, we bring all of our, or brought all of our items over rather. And yeah, between episodes here, I sorted them. You can see I have all the, the valuables here. I have the um, the tools here. I have all the uh, the building blocks and things like that here, and then all the food items and kind of plant type things here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think for today, well, first of all, before we do anything, I think I need to make some new tools. Definitely need to make some new tools. Alright, I think I'll need, let's see, I'll do two more pickaxes, one more axe, and one more shovel. That'll leave a little bit of iron left. Then we'll need some sticks for all those tools. Alright. Get some more sticks. Perfect. And I think I'll get a little bit of coal on me for what we're going to be doing today because what we're doing today is something very special. We're going to start a strip mine. Now, if you don't know how to play Minecraft, a strip mine is basically uh, the best way to get um, the most valuable and important materials in the game, such as diamond, um, lapis lazuli, and also redstone, gold, and iron, and also coal. So yeah, basically every valuable material that you find underground is the easiest found by strip mining. So. Yeah, so I'll just put these items here, and then I think I can probably consolidate some of this. And probably put away these tools in the tools chest for now, just the uh, the worn out ones. Uh, the sword's not really worn out, so I'll keep that here. Put the axe away, put the shovel away. Perfect. Alright, so I'm trying to think of where the best place to have the entrance to the strip mine would be. I think on this side of the house, maybe down a ways, like uh, over over here would be good because it's kind of separate from the kitchen but also separate from the storage room. Maybe maybe right about uh, here. Actually before I mine down anymore I'm going to need to make a whole bunch of sticks because I'm going to make it straight down um, and I need a ladder to uh, get back up. So, so is that enough? Uh, 27. No, nope, let's get a little bit more. Is that about 45? That should be enough. And I'll just get a little bit more wood from here. About six more wood there. And then, uh, yeah, just turn that all into sticks. And, yeah, I'll just get some more sticks here. And with these sticks, I should be able to make the ladder to go back down. So, um, you might have heard in Minecraft people say, never dig straight down. And that's true. But if you do want to dig straight down without uh, risking your life, the, the trick is to uh, dig two blocks down, or not two blocks, well I'll just show you. Uh, let me just think, what do I need? I am needing something. I came over here for something, I think I forgot. Uh, I think I need, oh well, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Oh yeah, so I'll start mining down. And basically, oh, I, I, I just remembered. <laughs> food, I need food. That's what I came back here for. <laughs> I'm so absent-minded, oh well. Here we go, I'll grip the spread. And yeah, with the spread I should be able to uh, go down into the strip mines. Yeah, and actually now that I think about it, I should probably uh, bring two important things with me. Um, hmm, check in. Oh, I just dropped my boat. I'm going to, uh, one important thing, I'm going to bring my bed with me. Because I don't want to uh, come back up here to a bunch of creepers, that wouldn't be very nice. Okay, so this is how you mine straight down without uh, being risky. So what you do is you, you kind of straddle between two different blocks. So when you mine one block, you don't fall. And you can mine another block. And uh, so you have to basically mine two blocks to fall. And so it kind of gives you double protection so that if indeed you do end up, um, you know, finding a cave or something, you won't just fall headfirst into the cave and end up uh, killing yourself or falling into lava maybe and hurting yourself that way. So I think I'll just put these torches here. Yeah, and you basically just keep going down until you're at a specific level. So yeah, what I generally do is I turn on my F3 screen. This is something that you do by pressing F3 on your keyboard. And you see here, it says um, in the middle of the left, it says XYZ, and there's three numbers. It says negative 47, 50, and then 15. And the number that we're concerned with is the middle one. So the one that says 48, 
And so what we want to do is we want to mine down until we're at level uh, 12, because level 12 is the best, the best place, rather, to get diamonds. And diamonds is, oh goodness, seen interrupting myself again. This is why we, we do uh, this method. So basically, now that we've found a uh, cave, what we want to do is we want to, um, you know what, I, I'm tempted to explore this cave, but I also know how uh, risky it is. And so I'm just going to uh, go to sleep first, of course. I think I hear a zombie behind me. Oh, and a creeper, okay. Let's get out of here. Creeper, be gone. Creeper, be gone. Ouchie. Yeah, that's why we kind of want to not be in caves right now. So, I'm probably just going to play it safe and uh, block this cave right up. So we can just strip mine. And that's the main reason why you strip mine, is basically because, um, although you can go in caves to mine, and they're generally a little bit more profitable, they're really, really dangerous. So, uh, especially when you're kind of first starting out the game, it's really important to strip mine instead of caving because then you can uh, avoid the monsters and basically save your life. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just keep on mining till we're at. Oh, I see wood. So, what this means is that we have reached another unfortunate obstacle, which is an abandoned mine shaft. So, uh, it's probably part of the same mine shaft we found before. Again, normally this would be a good thing, but because of. The, the very weak position we are in right now, just kind of starting out the game. Um, it's not actually very good, so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, build a little capsule around it like this, then we can basically mine right down right through it and just kind of bypass it for now. So, yeah, because we really don't have uh, the uh, means to attack all the monsters there like you might have seen. And look, here's some more caves. I see a minecart chest, though. I might grab some items from there first, but yeah, basically, it's really good to do this instead of uh, mining straight down because then you can kind of have a bit of a uh, bit of notice. So let's see what's inside this minecart chest real quick. All right, this looks really cool. Oh, a name tag. Yes, that means that uh, finally we can name uh, Tim. That's perfect. And oh my goodness, pumpkin seeds. This is so good. With pumpkin seeds, we can finally grow our first pumpkins. That's gonna be really good. Pumpkins are uh, really useful, but I'll tell you more about those later and we can actually uh, grow them. For now, I'm gonna just get down to the, the strip mine level that we need. Oh, and here's another cave, so. Yeah, again, you kinda just want to avoid these for now. Um, Just kind of safer. I think you're an enderman. That's always comforting. See level 20, level 19, we're almost there. 17, 16, 15, 14, uh, and now level 12. Perfect. So we are now at the level where you find the most diamonds. So before we start strip mining, I'm just going to get the, the ladder to go back up so that if we find ourselves in a bit of a conundrum, we can get back up as fast as possible. Yeah, and then uh, the only other thing to be careful with when you're doing this is not to fall down the other side where there's not a ladder, because uh, that's a really good way to kill yourself, and oh no, I think I just, I think I'm about to foresee a very dangerous circumstance. I think we're going to be out by about two ladders. Yeah, we're going to be out by about two ladders. Let's see. Uh, how much wood do we have on us? Oh, we do have some sticks. We do not have enough wood for a crafting table. All right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to place a block here temporarily to basically jump over to. And then I'm just going to have to pile up a bit and then get some more wood to uh, to craft some uh, more ladders with. Oh, where am I? Here I am. Go this way, get some more wood, just so we can go up and down without having to build our way up. All right, so I'll get a little more of that and then turn that into more uh, planks and then turn that into more sticks and then turn all those, well not all of them, I'll turn some of them into ladders. I think probably Another 12 ladders should do the trick. That should be good. Alright, and then let's see. So yeah, we blocked it up here. So we'll just mine this down. And yeah, that's looking good. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and then uh, just uh, build this up. And I'm hoping we can find some diamonds as soon as possible. I, I'm not expecting to find diamonds super quickly, but Hopefully uh, we'll be able to find them somewhat soon so that we can uh, begin to uh, 
progress more through the game yeah so if you want to kind of fall down and go back here that's also another way of doing it but it's kind of dangerous so I wouldn't always recommend that yeah so I'll just start mining I guess see I guess I'll mine out this way a little bit definitely are some caves around definitely can hear that all right and I think I'll mine this way and uh, I just kind of start out the strip mine so basically the way you do a strip mine is you kind of mine in different oh and there's another part of that cave perfect that's uh, not perfect actually it's good, not very good at all um let me just get blocks in my offhand so my goal is going to be break this place a block break this place a block perfect so i know what way not to mine i'm going to mine this way then hmm oh, great cave here oh goodness creeper This is very dangerous. Oh goodness, that was very close to death. Just being honest, very close to death. Hey, look at this. Lava, that's pretty cool. Oh, and some more iron. Iron is nice. Look at that lava, wow. Hmm, okay. Well, it looks like we're not, uh, we are running into a bunch of caves anyway, even though that's not really what I wanted to happen, but that's fine. Um, get some torches back in the off hand. I guess just keep strip mining. Hopefully we'll be able to find some uh, valuable resources soon. Yeah, so you generally want to do it by a bit of a pattern so that you can uh, kind of know where you've strip mined and where you haven't strip mined. So what I generally tend to do... Oh, I found another cave. I'm not going to do anything with this yet. Quite yet. So what I generally tend to do myself is I will... Um, have a pattern of uh, places where I have and haven't mined. So I'll do a strip and then I'll go over two blocks and then I will do a, a another strip. And basically what that does is that there's no blocks in this whole area and this whole level of this Minecraft world that you can't see. So basically you don't miss any diamonds or any other valuable ores potentially. And uh, yeah, just kind of a good way of making sure you don't uh, mine in the same place twice. So here's that dirt again, probably the same cluster. Could even mine into the same cave again, I'm not sure. So I think I'm mining past it, yeah. So that means if I mine this way, I'll probably, yeah, here we are in the nether, the other part of the cave. So I take a little peek, get some blocks on my hotbar so that if anything goes wrong, I can block things up. Oh, gold. Uh -huh. And some other valuables. Let's just get some oh, lapis lazuli. That's really good. Okay, here is the skeleton. Time to get out of here. Look at all these valuables. Oh, tons of gold and redstone. Just gonna place a block there so you can't get to us. And uh, now that I think about it, I left my armor and my shield up upstairs. Well, yeah, I guess upstairs kind of. It's kind of like a basement. Up ladder, anyway. There he is. I'm, I wonder if I can defeat him like this. I probably shouldn't risk it, but... Ah, uh, whatever. Is he gone? Is he... I think he might be gone. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, got him. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do so that this doesn't happen again is I'm going to block this whole area up. Uh, temporarily, of course, until we're a little bit... a uh, little bit better equipped to... Um, to defeat those monsters. Now, Looks like we got a real uh, real jackpot of different items. So first of all, if you ever want to get rid of a little bit of lava, if you put a torch where the, the source of lava is, then that's a really good way of getting rid of it. Now, looks like we found some lapis lazuli. That's really good. Hopefully there's more than one piece. Oh, there looks like there's at least two. Oh, and there's lava right down there. That's really uh, frightening. What level are we at? We're at level 16. That must be a lava pool then. Put some cobblestone there, make sure not to go down there. Don't want to burn up in the lava. Okay, and it looks like there's... Oh yeah, there's some gold up here. Don't want to forget that. Perfect. Mine all that. That should be, uh, be enough to get a second gold block, which would be really good. And then... Yeah. I'm trying to think of the best way to get this redstone. What I might do... And I don't have a bucket on me. What I'll probably do is go back to the surface and then turn that into obsidian uh, in a little bit here to then uh, so I can walk on top of the lava without uh, being too risky 
I also need to get my shield and my armor to combat some more of those uh, bad guys and mobs. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Up the long ladder. Yeah, so that's awesome though. Good start to the strip mine. And, uh, yeah. When bedtime is, eh, shouldn't be too soon. Soon enough, anyway. Alright, I put my bed back here for now while I'm up here. I can sort through some of the items I got, so let's put this bone back here. I think I had a place for arrows over here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Lapis lazuli and gold. And also gold ore, so we'll cook that in the new kitchen. And then uh, got a bunch more building blocks, which is awesome. So we'll get all those put away. And let's see, we also need to put away this uh, diorite, andesite, and, uh, or andesite and granite. And let's see, the coal will go away here. Perfect. Torches can go with the sticks. Or, uh, what am I saying? The sticks can go with the wood logs. And then the torches can go over here. So first I have to go to bed, of course. Alright, and while I'm over here, I think I'll uh, actually grab some of that coal again to smelt these ores that I got in the kitchen there. I'll go through the uh, go through the um, courtyard. Perfect, I'll get the gold here. And then uh, I will get the, uh, the iron here. It should be really good. The horse is still in here. Alright, and then let's see what else we have to sort through. Uh, yeah, those pumpkin seeds. We got, we got some more gunpowder. The name tag. Um, I, I don't think we'll be able to name uh, Tim just yet because we need an anvil to name the name tag. Alright, and then we'll get the minecart put away somewhere else. I think maybe in the tools. It's kind of a tool, a minecart. The chest there too for now. And the, the rails, I think, go uh, here. Yes. The detector rail there. That should be fun, detector rail. I wonder where that was from. I'm trying to think what a detector rail would be from. Oh, it's from the, uh, I remember where it's from. It's from the uh, minecart uh, chest there. All right, put those away and then put the dirt away. <laughs> Already we almost don't have enough space in here. Put the ladders here, put the bow away in the supplies or in the tools chest. And I think it might be time to plant our pumpkin seeds real quick. Let's see where where's the hoe? Here is the hoe. Perfect. And here's the bucket. And I'll get a bit of uh, bit of water. And we can plant the pumpkin seeds. It's really good to get some pumpkins. They're a really good crop to have. And I'll show you guys real quick the best way to grow pumpkins. So first I'll just have to get some water. Actually I'll get it from the, the sugar cane farm here. Yeah, so pumpkins are a little bit different. Because basically pumpkins grow a stem, and then on top of the stem they have a, uh, where the pumpkin itself grows, because it's a block that grows a pumpkin. So I'll just place the field here. We'll go one, two, three, four. Probably shouldn't have marked it out before I put the water down, but whatever. Put the water down. Here we go, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then, yeah, so you, you build the field as normal. And then, um, but the difference is, is that you actually plant the pumpkins in a uh, diagonal. Or not in a diagonal, but you, in a checkerboard, rather. And with the checkerboard, then basically you have alternating spaces for pumpkins to grow and for there to be uh, pumpkins to grow and also for the, the stems of the pumpkins to grow. So I'll plant down those two pumpkin seeds we have, maybe just here and here should be good. Yeah, awesome. We got our pumpkin patch started. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to press the like button, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!